Yes, my name is Bench, and welcome back to our rail tutorial series. In the last video, we built this linear motion of our block on rails in all three axes. It is really cool. Well, not axes, it's planes, I guess, or directions, whatever you want to call them. We just had an autosave, whatever. Uh, in this video, we'll look at using our rotary blocks to actually get some rotations happening in this same thing. So we've got two blocks that we can use. We've got the counterclockwise and the clockwise which apparently have decided to swap textures because we're still in dev builds. Kind of strange. Whatever. Anyway, they do work. Um, the arrow is important. You can see that how block is moving in that direction. And what we have is when we place down, say, a um, block here, to say go forward, we need to point the arrows in the way that we want it to continue going. So you can see we rotate and it goes in that direction. If I point it off in another direction, it'll get a bit confused and not want to go anywhere. I can show you that by pointing here. So you can see we've spun it. It still goes up, still does everything the way that it should. Now these two are pushing against each other, so it's going to constantly kind of push forward and then go, ah, oh, no, nah, it's pushing me back again. Not going to work. So if I fly over here and hit tab 3, you can see we've toggled it. So now we've got those motions rotating like so which is really cool. Now what we can also do is do it while it's on the side as well. So if we use our advanced build tools using control, we can actually tick through until we find the uh, the one that we want. And we can actually go in here and make them rotate. So we want to actually, so let's make it rotate clockwise here. And then let's make it rotate counterclockwise the other way. So we can see that movement. So now we've got on all our four corners a rotary motion which is really cool. Um, and it lets us do a whole heap of things. Now by default it rotates in 90 degrees which is great. It gives us all the controls that we want. Um, and you can see spinning it means that we can actually ensure that our rail docker is hitting the right dock when we actually collide with it. Otherwise, if we tried to go the other way, the core would get in the way and we wouldn't go anywhere. So that's the basics of doing rotary stuff, which is really cool. Now, we can do a bunch of stuff with the rotaries apart from this, but, you know, this is the default way that you can start getting some more control over where things go. You can make little carriages that go around in loops, all kinds of cool things. But in the next video, we're actually going to start looking at how to control rails, all the different functions that Logic has that can apply to it, and everything else that you can do to start actually having some control over how the rails work. But until next time, my name is Ben Chen. Thanks for watching.